Manhattan Project was a top-secret government program that came into existence in 1942 in lieu of the recent involvement of the United States in the rapidly expanding World War II. With the surprise bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the American government quickly declared war on Japan and the Axis powers, throwing itself into the largest scale war in world history. Scientists in recent years had discovered that creating a nuclear chain reaction within a bomb could create catastrophic damage unlike anything ever seen. When this was made aware to the government of the United States, they decided to gather the proper materials necessary to begin developing and testing these atomic weapons. Thus, the Manhattan Project was born. As the war dragged out over the next few years, the United States has successfully detonated test bombs in remote areas of western United States. Dropping a bomb in the Pacific Theater began to seriously be considered as a quick solution to the end of the war in the Pacific, because the war in Europe was largely over. The war was becoming costly, and even though the United States was heavily bombing cities throughout Japan, the Japanese leadership would not succumb and surrender. With the death of President Roosevelt in April of 1945, new President Harry Truman had some decisions to make. In July of 1945, the U.S. offered Japan the Potsdam Ultimatum, which gave a detailed description of the terms for surrender and warned of devastating destruction if the Japanese did not surrender. Despite the ultimatum, the Japanese decided to continue fighting. Because the Japanese rejected the Potsdam Ultimatum, the new president, Harry Truman, had to decide whether or not the bomb should be used against Japan in order to win the war. On the one hand, he knew that though Hiroshima and Nagasaki had military operations conducted in these cities, if atomic bombs were dropped, many innocent civilians would also be killed. However, on the other hand, some of Truman's advisors told him that if the U.S. did not drop the atomic bomb, but instead tried to directly invade Japan, this would probably result in as many as a million American casualties. This was believed because of the intense battles that had occurred between U.S. forces and Japanese forces during the Battle of the Pacific. In the end, Truman decided to drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima first, and then if Japan still did not surrender, a bomb would be dropped on Nagasaki. On August 6, 1945, the decision was made to drop the atomic bomb known as Little Boy on the city of Hiroshima. During the next few days, the Japanese leadership still failed to surrender. Three days later, on August 9th, the bomb called Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki. On August 15th, Japan formally surrendered to the United States, officially ending World War II. The effects were devastating. When news spread of the mass destruction and lingering effects of the bomb, it quickly became a highly controversial topic and would be in the years to come. The invention of the atomic bomb utterly changed modern warfare. Now one country had a weapon that could level a city in seconds. Other countries began trying to make this weapon, and some, like the USSR, succeeded. Also, over time, these weapons became more and more powerful. This success was one cause of the Cold War between the USSR and the United States that lasted from around 1946 to 1991. The Cold War influenced many international actions taken by the U.S. and was partly responsible for events such as the Vietnam War and the Korean War. Today, many countries have nuclear weapons and though they have never been used for war since World War II, there is still much fear that one day they will be used. This fear even affected the current war on terror when President Bush cited weapons of mass destruction as a reason for invading Iraq in 2003. In particular, many in the United States worry about countries such as Iran or North Korea acquiring these weapons and using them against the United States or against our allies. However, if any of these weapons are ever fired off again, it could mean World War III or a nuclear war. Today, the issue of whether the U.S. should have dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki is very controversial. Even during this time period, it was controversial because some believed that Japan was close to surrendering, even before the atomic bombs were dropped. The loss of life and the damage on these cities was also catastrophic. More than 100,000 people were lost in these bombings, and many died later from injuries or from radiation. However, others argue that these bombings were necessary because the Japanese had proven in battle that they would fight until the last man standing. If the Japanese did not surrender, and if the atomic bombs were not dropped, American soldiers would have had to invade Japan, which would result in not only many U.S. casualties, but would possibly result in more casualties and deaths for the Japanese than those from the atomic bombs. However, what do you think? What would you have done if you were President Truman?